Halo is an absolute classic. I want to make that clear before I read off my soylent laced list of grievances. Not only was Halo 3 the first video game I ever beat, Halo 4 was the first game I remember being hyped for. Kids will like anything, I guess. Halo Combat Evolved is a flawed masterpiece. It took everything that Half-Life and Marathon did and took it the extra mile. It is fundamentally a different game from every shooter that came before it. It, however, was rushed. It was only a first-person shooter for the last year of development. It spent most of its time as a sci-fi clone of Myth. I'm personally glad they didn't do that. Imagine taking a game out of your Xbox and the hard drive gets wiped. Oh yeah, we probably should also actually talk about the game. The Covenant is a military alliance of multiple alien species. They attack the human colony Reach. The UNSC on the Pillar of Autumn is fleeing when they come across this big ring, which is actually an artificial habitable environment. The player controls Master Chief. You kill the Covenant for a few more levels until you get to the 6th level. 343 Guilty Spark has the player marching into another structure built by whatever made the Halo ring, and we encounter the Flood. The Flood is a viral plague. These little guys here infect both alive and dead things and create what are effectively zombies. From there we are taken to the library. Three unique hallways and two rooms repeated until the level designer got his paycheck. After enduring the library, you get three more levels where you fight the Flood and Covenant, do the Warthog jump, and roll credits. We're done. I'd really like to begin by saying that in theory, I like the Flood. In fact, in Halo 2 and 3, they're even fun to fight. Halo CE? Not as much. The level design doesn't really do it any favors. While they can be fun to fight at times, they're weirdly resilient to gunfire unless it's a shotgun. Speaking of guns, you can hold up to two weapons. This is normally a really cool part of the game, because normally you would be forced to pick weapons based on multiple factors, such as ammo count, the amount of damage the weapon does, its effective range, and the environment. Unfortunately, for the back half of the game, you only want the shotgun and the plasma rifle. You may switch to the sniper or rocket launcher if it's on the ground, and then switch back to what you had. The shotgun holds 10 shells. You can have up to 60 shells in reserve. The game gives you plenty of ammo, and at effective range, it kills the flood in one shot. No other weapon is as good at killing the flood as the shotgun. In the first half, it's balanced as every other weapon is. But as long as there's flood, you want the shotgun. If the game didn't give you shells, you would quickly realize that the game gives you the shotgun as a band-aid solution, and that the underlying problem is that the Flood lacks more interesting ways to deal with them. The repetitive nature of combat with the Flood is generally uninteresting. They either charge at you or take pot shots. This isn't bad on its own, but levels where you fight them for most, if not all the runtime, it becomes a repetitive slog. Not only does the Flood bring the game down a few levels on its own, the design issues with the Flood plague the game entirely. The level design frequently gives you snipers, magnums, or rocket launchers when you're dealing with enemies far away, hunters, or wraiths, respectively. It's not exactly awful, but instead of rewarding me for making the decision to take it with me, or at least making finding it a challenge, it's instead always placed where it would be convenient to have it. And the game is far worse for that fact. When it comes to repetitive design, the library is that in its platonic form. I refuse to play it for more than 5 minutes, so I will not talk about it more because I will run out of footage to show. It unfortunately is the last original level of Halo. I know I said there were 3 more, but 2 Betrayals, Keys, and The Maw are Assault on Control Room, Truth and Reconciliation, and The Pillar of Autumn in reverse with Flood. In the same way that the Flood recycles the rotting bodies on the floor, the devs recycle level structures as well. Even in the front half of the game, Halo repeats level portions all the time. Assault and Control Room is already a hive of Control C and Control V, but the last missions are just Control Ving entire levels. Sure, the levels aren't 100% exact, and the changes can be really cool, but other than the Ma, you're really just doing what you were doing in reverse. The worst parts of Halo are still better than games like Duke Nukem or Serious Sam 3, but I feel that Bungie could hold themselves to a higher standard. I mean at the time, the marathon reboot's gonna suck.
While you're removing the campaign from a narrative-driven first-person shooter, they might as well also remove everything else that makes it marathon. Well, if they did that, then they'd have a generic sci-fi setting. Also known as whatever the hell Destiny has going on.